neighborhood. <laughs> this is the traffic here. As you can see, it sucks. It gets backed up easily. And there's often cars blocking this intersection right here. And people don't think to not block the box. They just try and cram through. It's out right now. It's so cool out. And uh, light breeze. It's going to storm tonight. It looks like the Terminator whenever I see bad storm clouds. I'm here in the privacy of my own car. Been walking around my hood, my complex. I just call it my Plex. I'm short for complex. Um, so I've been apartment hunting and I hit a snag. I started applying to that apartment that I thought was really nice. Well, the screen is flashing a lot anyways. And uh, they're saying I need to make more money. Now, I do videography work and I make extra money from that. So I was trying to point out, and my realtor was trying to point out, she's doing her best to try and convince them, look, I make the money, I have it. But they want me to pay either a two months security deposit, so twice the security deposit, or um, get a co-signer. So I'm not doing either, it's not worth it. Why would I hobble myself like that? Yeah, I'll get the money back from the deposit, but I'll be stuck without it and I could go somewhere else if I want to. I still ha can try and talk to the people who offered me couches to sleep on and I can go on couchsurfing.com and try and find people there. I almost did that before, right? where I was talking to people a couple years ago. I ended up staying with a friend for a month. My realtor is still waiting to tell, hear back from them a final definitive answer because maybe they'll change their mind and say, okay, I can have the place, you know, I have the money for it. They shouldn't worry about if I'm making, the amount they want me to make is a lot more than what I make now, but I make enough to pay for the place. My other options are, I'm still getting listings from my realtor of places within my search criteria. Obviously, I'm not gonna apply for any other apartments that will put me through this process because I know I'm not gonna qualify, more than likely. And they're all gonna cost more. This place is cheaper than almost anywhere else I've looked at, uh, except for places that look like they're just run down and terrible to live in. One place is a basement. Now, I don't wanna have roommates, but okay, if it's a basement, if it's a place that I like and it's cheap enough and it's a good area, I saw one that's like that, I would see. I'd at least look into it and um, see if the person who lives there is someone I want to live with. I know I'm sweating like a maniac. That's just how I am. I run hot. When I was in grade school, I was in gym class and I was sweating like crazy and this guy told me in my class, you should use deodorant. And I said, I do. And he said, on your face. And the other place I'm looking at is further out, like 15 miles away from my mom's house. And we don't count distance in miles around here. Of course, we count it in minutes because 15 miles can take an hour to drive or more. But anyways, uh, I've lived by that area before. If you look at my old videos when I lived in Fairfax, I lived right by there. It's a beautiful place. I It's the upper level of a condo. Great price, utilities all included. I know the place, it's a beautiful building. Like I lived close by there before, like next door practically. So I'm seeing about that and uh, we'll see. I'm just hoping if, if I'm living with someone else that they don't put me through the same income requirements, that they can see, hey, look, I got the money. And especially by the end of this month, I'll have more in savings. And I've been working a whole lot. So by the end of this month too, I'm really hoping that they say, okay, you're good to go. You can pay the first month's rent now. We can see you have the deposit and you'll be set. So I'm waiting to see what happens with this apartment first in Arlington because that's a great location five minutes from my mom's house and close to my night job too if that doesn't work I think this place further out west would be a good really good option because it's just great price and I'd have a whole level of a condo to myself and again I know that building or at least I know it well enough I lived like practically next door to it not practically I probably was next door to it I'm really hoping they just don't put that income requirement on me because I can pay I can pay the rent and I have money saved up for the deposit and everything. So I'll be ready to go on that front and I work like crazy and I'm not getting less work. I'm going to get more and more work and I'm trying to do as much as I can, put videos on YouTube. So we'll see for right now, uh, I'm still living at this place in Annandale. We'll see from there. Keep sharing the videos. You know, I appreciate so much just watching them and engaging with them helps me out. And um, now I'm going to put at the end of this video, a clip I also filmed while I was driving last night of a guy skateboarding down the wrong side of a street on a 35 mile per hour road coming off a highway I mean an actual interstate and he just got on the road started skateboarding just in time just because uh, it's raining like crazy now and it's gonna rain all night anyways I'm enjoying a cup of condensed milk yeah 